Hi folks, how are you all doing today? So today we are going to learn about um, PlayLab RF code. Okay. So basically how to use PlayLab and all uh, and how to go about it, how to start off with this will be there in this RF code. Okay. It's like a beginner's tutorial of uh, PlayLab, right? So yeah, let's see how to work on this and what exactly we have to create on this. Okay. So before starting off, I would just like to remind you all guys that uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel folks if you are so new here, right? And do watch all the videos in sequence and all the playlists to understand the content better. Okay, let's start off. Uh, so Waggles, if you want to see this introductory video of PlayLab, you definitely have uh, can watch it. Okay, but yeah, I just want to move ahead now. So let's see. Waddles wants to say hello. Can you help him? Okay. So Waddles is this character. Okay. This penguin character is Waddles. So he just want to say hello. So we just can write say hello. He just says hello. And then, yeah, we can continue. Use this block twice and remember to change the actor number. Cave boy and Jasmine would like to say hello to each other. Can you help them by using the say block twice? Okay. So actor one say hello. And actor two say hello. Because they want to say hello to each other, right? So that's the reason I'm using it two times. Hello. Then hello. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So let's just check what exactly is there now. Can you help tennis girl get to the flag? Okay. Tennis girl get to the flag. That means he has to move from here till here. Okay. So move right. 200 pixels yeah she reached so let's continue and let's see what's next add play sound block here okay can you uh, can you help tennis boy actor one get to tennis girl and play a sound when he gets there okay so move at the one down by 200 pixels so that he can reach her and we have to play some gold start oh towards right i'm sorry towards down great perfect let's continue there's another video here again no it, it just tells you about events and we already know what are events, right? We have been using them from so many days now, okay? If you've not been watching my videos yet, please do go back to my channel and do watch them to understand what are events and etc. okay? So can you help the space bot say greetings or links when it is clicked? Don't forget to click it after you click on run, okay? So when actor clicked, then we would like to say something, right? So that's why when actor click is used, then say, so it's this, right? So I'm just copying this, we'll paste it over here. That's it, run. See, nothing happens now. When I click on it, it says greetings or slings, okay? This is all, let's continue. So when this particular event occurs, only then a certain thing will be happening. So events are basically like the triggers which make something happen, okay? So can you help the wish move uh, around using the up, down, right, left arrow keys to get all the magic fireballs? Oh yeah, when left arrow move left, right arrow move right, up arrow move up, down arrow move down, right? So we can use the arrow keys on the left, right and all. Yeah, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move that, okay? Let's continue. There's another video which is saying about repeat forever block. Repeat forever um, is just like the name itself suggests, right? 
it repeats something forever okay this is a repeat event we, we say yeah so when you want to do some repeat events then you can absolutely use repeat forever block to continuously do something okay so this block allows you to run code continuously can you attach blocks to it to help the wizard move right and left repeatedly of course we can do that move right move left that's it repeated the same thing cool <laughs> okay so it's that's it yes let's continue it continuously does the same thing now okay it will not stop until and unless you click on uh, reset right so add score blocks here okay can you add a block to score a point and block and a block to play a sound when the unicorn runs into the wizard and then move him with the arrows until you score okay so when when actor one touches actor two score point play sound when unicorn runs into the wizard okay so we can also play some sound so let's just get the unicorn yeah can you see this so i'll just click, click on keep playing and i'll just explain the code when actor one touches actor two we are scoring the point like you can see here and we're also playing the win point sound so i just played the sound too and then repeat forever is just doing the same thing like left and right repeating itself and whatever is written here is already done in the previous activity right when left arrow move back to one left when right arrow move back to one right up arrow up down arrow down okay basically the same thing whatever we have been doing is happening here okay so let's reset it down let's touch it with yes that's it okay continue now let's see what's this last activity after that it's going to be the free play i think add your blocks here okay set the background for this alien invasion and help the space bot get to the alien faster by changing its speed then move him with the arrow keys to get to the space bot and alert everyone else okay so already when actor one touches play win point actor one say invasion left right arrow keys are everything done so we just have to spend set the space backdrop okay so we also have to set the speed so set actor one to a fast speed so or very fast you can say so that it can change its speed and move faster let's run it and let's move it alien invasion whoa <laughs> it was the same thing like the previous uh, level right we just had to set the background and the speed that's it okay so now it's going to be the free play time mostly i think yeah create your own game when you're done click finish to let friends try your own game on their phones oh wow <laughs> okay so you can actually add up any characters like you can set any background we have so many backgrounds let's set underwater background set actor one two anything octopus underwater and octopus wow this looks so pretty right <laughs> okay and we'll just when up arrow move back to run up by 25 pixels so when up arrow when up arrow when up arrow so let's choose down left right move actor move actor move actor down left right okay so i'm just doing this let's say show title screen here i'm just writing something randomly okay have you wait for half a second score point something very randomly i'm doing okay don't worry 
Hey, uh, how are you? We can use our arrow keys to move uh, octopus. And it also scored point after some time, right? This is how it is. Okay. Wow, cool. You can actually create anything like this, right? Uh, and I'll be creating a few play lab games in my next sessions. Okay. Do watch all of them so that you can understand this better and you can you can easily get get to know what exactly we can do on a play lab, right? We'll do some play lab projects in the next sessions, right? So that's why I'm not really discussing anything over here. Okay. We just understood what is play lab and how to how can we use the blocks in play lab, right? So yeah, let's see. Let's um create some very fun games in our next sessions using play lab okay so meet you there in the next session bye bye till then hope you have a great day guys and please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks huh thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye guys have a great day all